So, there are a couple of times in life where you have to make a pivot, right? You experience some shit that really changes up everything about your perspective. And for me, that was love, I think. I'm not sure if it was really love or if maybe it was puppy love, however they describe it. I was in that shit. Um, so I grew up here in Macon, um, elementary school, St. Peter Glaber. Went to Mount Sales, met degenerates like uh, Patrick, uh, Bradley, and Pat, which is Kevin's son. He did a horrible job, and I love it. Um, shout out to uh, Patrick Pritchard. I just want to give him a quick shout out. He's an asshole. Um, I uh, also want to give a shout out to anybody else who's named Patrick. I love SpongeBob. But in that process, after leaving high school, um, I think I fell in love with someone when I was in school in New York, and it was cool being in love, right? Um, that was weird at the time because I'd never really experienced something that I thought was love or anything like that. But it was, it, it was something that, you know, it changes your perspective. Uh, if you have $100, we have $100. If you want to go grab something to eat real quick after class, we're about to go grab something real quick after class. So it just became a, a different way of thinking, um, kind of encapsulating someone else in my, my thought process. And through that process, I think I fell in love, or maybe I fell in love and that happened. I'm not really sure. I think they're kind of like correlated, but nonetheless, a pivot moment occurred and in New York I feel like I started to understand kind of who I who I am um, the things that I expect from the world and it was cool um, you have your perspective of, of where you come from now me going to and I, I did a dual enrollment program I am an environmentalist I love nature I'm an Eagle Scout I love thinking about how we can protect our environment, conserve our, our natural resources, and think about sustainability. Um, so, for me, I saw myself as a progressive person, but at the same time, I'm rooted in my southern heritage, of my love of place, my love of, of Southern Baptist Christian Church. I, I, I love the process of, of just being around that type of energy. It's a beautiful thing. And so, because of these life experiences, I think of myself in a certain space, right? But there are moments and times when things force you to change. Now, I played basketball coming up, and I don't know if anybody played basketball. Everyone in this crowd it seems to be white, so I'd ex expect not. But everyone who may, you know, stretch outside of the norm, um, if you play basketball, you know that you have a pivot foot, right? Um, when you can't dribble and you move like that, right? And, and so that, that one foot is securely in the ground and you can move off of that. It could be your left or your right. I'm just demonstrating my right. Don't think that it's just that. But you can pivot. And so, <clears throat> there came a moment in life where that foot that you pivot off of, that the strong, for this example, the right foot that is your solid base, and then your left foot that becomes that X factor that changes the trajectory of where your stance is. Um, that changed when the, the first time that I experienced love, the person told me, hey, I think I might be pregnant. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not a father, so my perspective, my life in that moment, had to pivot. I grew up in Catholic school my entire life, so I knew 
that inherently I was going to hell. So I had already planned that. But I didn't know how I would end up in hell. And that's where life happened. And the moment when the person that first experienced love with tells you, hey, I might be pregnant. And you say, fuck that shit. Nope. I'm out. But it's a lot to deal with. And so I had to pivot. Having a genuine discussion, not about where I stand, but about where she is, what she believes, what's most important. And taking self out of it was very difficult. And at 20, it's hard to not see yourself in every decision that you make. So, learning to pivot off of those tough moments. Well, I don't have to describe it. Nonetheless, in that moment, I learned to pivot. And it kind of gets us to where we are today. I don't know how, but it gets us here. So, fast forward. This girl became someone that I came down to making with, and it didn't really work out. But what I learned from that entire situation is that there's always good in the little things. So, learn to pivot, learn to adjust, go forward and conquer. Amen. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks so much.